If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being part of our community and for supporting quality journalism. Good morning, Davao, Mindanao, North, South, East, and West. This is Elijah Hilcacho, your newscaster for today. But before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. For the headlines, weather forecast. Typhoon Julian, also known as Crayton, affecting northern Luzon. Local news. Counselor urges stronger policies to back teachers. Campus loyalty to Hupong party question. IDIS calls for urgent crafting of IRR for tree protection ordinance. Power firm expands portfolio to avert Mindanao power shortage. For national news, SC denies Roque's petition versus House panel arrest order. BOPK remains unfazed despite losing allies. International news. Elon Musk X is worth nearly 80% less than when he bought it. Fidelity estimates. Takeaways are from the vice presidential debate between Vans and Wolves. Our entertainment news. Andrew Garfield says he'd 100% be into playing Spider-Man again. Reza. Witherspoon is breaking into thrilling writing with the help of Helen Coben. Sports news. Are the Commanders Super Bowl contenders with star rookie QB? Will injuries catch up with the Chiefs NFL Week 4 takeaway? Manchester City equals unbeaten record. Borussia Dortmund nets five first half goals in a high scoring championships league night. Featured stories Davao City's Secret Oasis, Malagos Garden Resort. North Carolina's Hanging Rock, a hiker's uh, paradise. And for our trivia for today, the viral Strawberry Sinigang in the Philippines. Weather forecasts. Typhoon Julian, also known as Crathon or Crathon, affecting the northern Luzon. In Batanes and uh, Babuyan Islands, residents can expect rains with gusty winds due to the Typhoon Julian or Julian. There's a possibility of flush floods or landslide caused by the moderate to heavy and at times intense rains. The threat to lives and properties remains minimal to minor due to the strong winds. The Ilocos region, Cordillera administrative region, and the rest of the Cagayan Valley and central Luzon will experience partly cloudy to cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and uh, thunderstorms. Attributed to the trough of the Typhoon Julian, residents should be cautious of the possible flash floods and landslide due to the moderate to heavy rains. 
in the Davao region and SOCC SK Sergeant cloudy skies with scattered rains and thunderstorms are forecast influenced by the easterlies with the potential of flash floods or landslides lastly Metro Manila and the rest of the country will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms due to the localized thunderstorms with the possible flash floods and landslides during the severe thunderstorms. Local news. Counselor urges a strong policies to back teachers. Davao City Councilor Pilar Braga urged the 20th City Council to develop policies prioritizing teachers' welfare during the National Teachers Month 2024. Braga, chairman of the Committee on the Education, emphasized the Council's rule to improve teachers' welfare, working conditions, and professional development. She stated, let us commit to the making of teachers a profession that is not only noble but fulfilling and empowering. A resolution was passed to command and uh, to command and express gratitude to the Davao City teachers, highlighting their invaluable contribution as pillars of education and agents of transformation. National Teachers Month runs from September 5 to October 5, 2024, under the theme, Together for Teachers. Campus loyalty to Hukpong Party is questioned. Davao City Council Diosdado Mahitos Jr. questioned Councilor Augustus Javier Campus III's loyalty to Hukpong sa Tawong Lungsod after photos of him with another party circulated online during his privileged speech on October 1, 2024. Mahipus urged Campus to clarify his political stance. He emphasizes that the need for transparency among party members, Campus acknowledged the concerns and expressed gratitude for his colleague's support, promising to address the issues in the press conference. Vice Mayor J. Mekor Kitain noted that councillors have the right to express their views and that the situation would become clearer during the filing of certificates of candidacy. IDIS calls for urgent crafting of IRR of the Tree Protection Ordinance. A Davao City-based environmental group Interfacing Development Intervention of Sustainability, also known as IDIS, is urging the Davao City government to expedite the implementing rules and regulation, also known as IRR, for the Tree Protection Ordinance. This follows the topping of 18 trees at Mental Elementary School. IDIS emphasized the need for the City Environmental and Natural Resources Office, also known as CENRO. The review is uh, pruning guidelines and ensure proper practices. They also call for collaborations between CENRO, DepEd, DENR, and CIO for a campaign on heritage to tree protection. IDIS highlighted the importance of safeguarding heritage trees for environmental integrity and community's identity. Power firm expands portfolio to avert Mindanao power shortage. Alson's Power Group is expanding its energy portfolio to prevent power shortages in Mindanao over the next four to five years. At the Mindanao Business Conference, CEO Antonio Miguel B. Alcantara announced the com company's focus on renewable energy projects, including the hydro and solar, to boost the island's power supply. Alson's power aims to help the Philippines achieve a 35% renewable energy shared by the 2023 and 50% by 2040. Currently, Alson's power has a capacity of uh, over 460 megawatts, serving more than 8 million people 
the company recently completed the 14.5 megawatt Seagull Hydro Power Plant in Sarangani Province. National News SC denies Ruke's petition versus House panel arrest order. The Supreme Court has denied Harry Ruke's petition to prevent the House of Representatives Squad Committee from enforcing an arrest order against him. Ruke sought a writ of amparo claiming the panel's contempt and detention orders threatened his life, liberty, and security. However, the court ruled Amparo is not applicable as it is covered only extra legal killings and enforced disappearance. Roque was cited for contempt for refusing to submit documents related to an inquiry on Philippine offshore gaming operators also known as POGO, an extrajudicial killing during Duterte's administration. He was inflicted impl after assisting in a POGO-related payment which he denies. BOPK remains unfazed despite losing allies. Despite losing key allies, the Bando Osmeña Pundok Kauswagan, also known as BOPK party, led by former Cebu City Mayor Thomas Osmeña, remains determined in its election campaign. Barangay Kasambagan, Captain Franklin Ong has shifted alliances at Mayor's Michael Rama for the 2025 election. After running under BOPK in 2022, Councillor Nestor Arquival acknowledged Ong's departure but emphasized BOPK's consistency as their edge. Other figures like Cutie Delmar and Jessica Rest also parted ways with BOPK. Running for mayor said that the party remains ununited or united despite other members supporting rival coalitions and will file candidacy soon. International news Elon Musk X is worth nearly 80% less than when he bought it. The social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, has uh, seen its value plummeted, uh, plummet by nearly 80% since Elon Musk's $44 billion acquisition in 2022. According to the Fidelity estimates, as of August, Fidelity valued its share at just $4.2 million, marking a significant drop. Analysis attribute the decline to shrinking ad revenue with some advertisers pulling back due to the concerns about extreme content. Elon Musk's controversial statement have also fueled backlash from the brands. Despite these challenges, X reported 570 million monthly users in the second quarter. Though, users' engagement on mobile has dropped by 20% since Musk's takeover. <music> Takeaways from the vice presidential debate between Vance and Woes. The vice presidential debate between Ohio Senator J.D. Vance and Minnesota Governor Tim Walls stood out for its civility and rarity, rarity in uh, today's political climate. Both candidates focus on lit policy differences rather than personal attacks. Vance targeted Vice President Kamala Harris on the border security, while Walls criticized former President Donald Trump's stance on abortion. Vance presented a respectful and more moderate tone, avoiding Trump-like complaints about moderators and addressing his opponent respectfully. Though unlikely to impact the presidential race, the debate showcased a return to more traditional political discourse. <music> Entertainment News Andrew Garfield says he'd 100% be into playing Spider-Man again. 
Andrew Garfield is uh, open to returning as Spider-Man. In an interview, the actor expressed enthusiasm, saying he'd 100% be come back if the project was unique and meaningful. Garfield, who succeeded Tobey Maguire in the role, saw great success with 2012's The Amazing Spider-Man, but the sequel poor reception led Sony to cancel the third film. However, Garfield returned alongside Maguire and Tom Holland in the Spider-Man No Way Home in 2021. Receiving praise from fans, he called the experience healing and uh, expressed his love for the character, bringing the joy to both himself and the audience. <music> Reezy Witherspoon with breaking into thriller writing with the help of Helen Coben. Reezy Witherspoon is uh, co-writing her first thriller. The actress is a media mogul announced on Instagram that she's uh, teaming up with the best-selling author Harlan Kuben for a novel set to release in fall 2025. Witherspoon, a fan of Kuben's work, expressed extreme excitement saying, I honestly can't wait for y'all to read it. Kuben known for his hit novels like Fool Me Once, shared his enthusiasm, commenting, Here we go again, partner. This marks Witherspoon's first fiction book following her previous releases, including the cookbook Whiskey in a Teacup. The 352-page thriller is now available for pre-order. Now for sports news. Are the Commanders Super Bowl contenders with star Rookie QB? Will injuries catch up with the Chiefs? NFL Week 4 takeaways. Week 4 of the NFL season had all 32 teams in action, providing fans with exciting matchups and dramatic moments. Washington Commanders Rookie QB Jaden Daniels led his team to a 42-14 win over Arizona, showcasing record-breaking accuracy. Despite a promising 3-1 start, Daniels remains focused on consistent improvement. The Kansas City Chiefs, under undefeated at 4-0, are dealing with major injuries. Star wide receiver Rajee Rice is likely out for this season with an ACL tier. Adding to their offensive woes, Patrick Mahomes will face a heavier burden as the team looks to maintain momentum. Meanwhile, the Philadelphia Eagles struggle at 2-2. Jalen Hurts turnover and defensive issue rising concerns. Manchester City equals unbeaten record. Borussia Dortmund nets five first-half goals in a high-scoring Champions League night. Today's UEFA Champions League matches delivered a thrilling performance from the Europe's top teams, but also saw heavy defeats for some. Manchester City equal with the Champions League unbeaten record for a 4-0 win over Slovan Bratislava extending their strike to 25 games. Elsewhere, Borussia Dortmund uh, crushed a Celtic to 7-1 to with Cameron Adeyemi scoring at the hat trick. Meanwhile, French side uh, Brest impressed with a 4-0 victory against the Red Bull Salzburg. Continuing their unbeaten run in their debut UCL season, the new format sees a club playing eight matches, but recent games have highlighted the financial disparity among teams. <music> Featured stories Davao City's A Secret Oasis, Malagos Garden Resort. Tuck in the outskirts of Davao City. 
Malagos Garden Resort offers visitors a peaceful escape into the nature. This ecotourism destination is a home to the over 90 species of birds, a butterfly sanctuary, and the re-owned Malagos Chocolate Museum, where visitors can experience the art of chocolate making, perfect for families, nature lovers, and those seeking to a tranquil break from the city's hustle. The result combines environmental sustainability and uh, immersive interaction. Guests can also enjoy from farm to table dining, spa treatments, and interactive animal shows, making it a hidden gem in the Davos growing ecotourism scene. North Carolina's Hanging Rock, a hiker's paradise. Located in the Soraton Sur um, Mountains, Hanging Rock State Park offers a North Carolina's adventurers breathtaking views, cascading waterfalls, and challenging trails. A favorite for hikers and outdoors enthusiasts, the park's 70-foot Hanging Rock Peak provides a panoramic vistas of the surrounding mountains and forests. Visitors can also enjoy rock climbing, swimming, and camping. With abundant wildfire adding the natural charm, the park's many trails range from easy walks to strenuous climbs, making it accessible for all skill levels. Hanging rocks, iconic beauty, and adventurous offspring offering keep it the most visited destination for thrill seekers and uh, nature lovers alike. <music> Trivia The viral strawberry sinigang in the Philippines. In 2021, a unique culinary twist took the uh, internet by storm in the Philippines. Strawberry Sinigang This version of beloved traditional sour pork soup or also known as a Sinigang swap out the usual tam tamarind for strawberries creating a sweet and tang tangy flavor profile. Originating from the Baguio known as the strawberry capital of the Philippines. This dish uh, sparked debates on the social media about whether it was genius fusion or a bizarre food experiment. Love it or hate it, the combination captures foodies attention and become a viral sensation across the country. That is all for our news today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, this is your newscaster Elijah Hill Cacho. Good morning, Davao. If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being part of our community and for supporting quality journalism.